Alrighty guys, welcome to your 45th tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to be teaching you guys how to send messages because remember whenever we are able to type stuff into that text box what it's going to do is there's going to be a listener that sits on that text box and it, it basically waits for you to type in a message and hit enter. Once you hit enter it's going to grab all the stuff from inside your text box and it's going to call it on this method that says send message. So what this message, I mean, excuse me, what this method does is it sends a message to whoever you're connected to. So of course, it probably would be a good idea to, you know, build this method so it actually worked. So what this is going to do is send a message to client, which is basically the computer that's connected to the server, and private void send message. Now, just to clear things up, send message is different from the show wow you know what saying send message and show message are very complicated alright so send message sends a message to the client and what show message does is it pretty much displays both of your guys's messages on the main chat area so you know you can see the history of your conversation so again what we're gonna be doing is coding the method send message right now and what this does is send a message to someone else so again the send message method takes one parameter string message which is basically what message what did you type into that chat area what do you want to send well like everything else it's a good idea to put this in a try catch statement I'm sorry guys but you know it's good programming practice so try and catch IO exception and what this is going to do is it's pretty much gonna catch an exception if for some reason it was unable to send your message so uh, what we'll do is chat window append and remember that chat window is the main area that you view all of your guys' messages and what append means is basically stick this into the chat area so you guys can see it um, might as well put caps lock error dude I dude I can't s send that message for some reason so hopefully you should never see that because you know I don't know maybe uh, something a bug went wrong in our server midway through sending the message then we would get something like that but most cases you just want to be able to send it successfully to the client or to the other person so whenever you do that this is how you do it output which remember our output is our stream that sends data or messages away from us to someone else so that's what we need to tap into right object now the right object method is a method that's built into Java and what this does is it basically well sends a message through the output so this is gonna write a method or create an object and send it to your output stream now once it's in your output stream it's gonna go to the client or whoever you're connected with so what do we want this message to say well just go ahead and put server so that's and if you guys were creating like a real chat room then this would be your username but since this is the server that's sending these messages that's why I did that so server and the message is message and I need to put quotes right there alright so basically what we're doing is whenever we pass something into here and let me go ahead and give you guys an example so say that we typed in um, hey Bucky what's up then it's gonna pass hey Bucky what's up into this send message method also a tongue twister by the way now whenever we get that string called message message is now equal to hey Bucky what's up so of course that's a string so your string that you're gonna send to them is first of all who's it coming from server minus hey Bucky what's up that's gonna write an object into your output stream now once that entire string is in your output stream it can go send it along the stream to the client which is the other person and of course if you remember from a couple of tutorials ago whenever you pretty much write something into your output stream it's always a good idea to output flush it out once you're done sending stuff and that pretty much means in case 
you know, something happened and you have any bites left over, then just go ahead and flush them out. That means push all the extra bytes um, to the user just so you don't have anything left over buffering in your stream. And this is just good uh, housekeeping stuff, although you don't need to actually call it too often. So once you're done with that, of course, the message is sent to them, but what you want to happen is you want that message to display on your screen. Because if you remember from you know AOL Instant Messenger or something, whenever you send something to them, it pops up on your top window on the screen the message that you just typed. It doesn't just show their messages, it shows the conversation, your messages, and their messages. So we actually want to show message, the one that you just wrote, and we of course want to show this on a new line so new line and the message is server minus plus whatever message you just wrote and I like to put my pluses with a little space right there just because I think it looks a little bit neater so basically we should have one error right now that says show message and also another one that says able to type because we didn't code that but basically this is all you need to do in order to send a message to another computer. The first thing is you need to write a try catch because you know in case something goes wrong then we you know can successfully handle it. But basically our message or string that we want to send to the user is going to be an object. So now that the object is created we can put it in our output stream which is basically the road that it's a one-way road and it goes from our computer to their computer so now that we sent the object right here it gets sent along the stream to them and if any crap gets left over we can just flush it right out to them and just so we can you know see the history of our conversation we want to also show this message on our screen the screen that we're looking at right now so that's why I put new line because every message should go on a new line and just says server message simple enough so now in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to put how to code the show message method which pretty much is extremely easy pretty much displays method messages on your GUI so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then